Hi everyone and welcome to another classic WoW leveling video. Today I'm going to be questing in Stranglethorn Vale. So if you're interested in these type of ASMR videos then definitely check out my previous videos because I'm doing a series in which I'm leveling this Night Elf Druid going through different zones that are nostalgic to me and hopefully to you as well so definitely check those out and yeah i hope that you guys will like this video and don't forget to leave a comment and a thumbs up before you get to sleepy and thank you thank you thank you so much for watching okay let's get started i just entered stranglethorn from Duskwood um, I always go from here I approach from here I know you can go to Booty Bay but I feel like these quests are often a bit high level so I like to start at the northern area so here um, I'm gonna rebuff myself because I always have a tendency to forget. I installed the AI add on that reads all the dialogues, but I turned it off for this video because it might be a bit annoying. Crassex Cookery. I do most of the cooking at the camp. Used to be a lot of work until I bought a mechanical cooking pot. It's a wonder. Can you take the pot back to the goblin for me so he can fix it? Oh, it broke, okay. Bring Krasak's crock pot to Kazak the goblin. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Krasak's crock pot to Krasak the goblin. Goblin. Okay, we're gonna do that. Surgeon Yo. Kill 15 Curzon jungle fighters. Okay. Who are they actually? Bad medicine to have a chance against Curzon. We need his healing support neutralized. So we're basically stealing the remedies so that we have a bigger advantage. Got it. Makes sense now. Young Panther, I know we're gonna have to kill all of those. <laughs> Sounds pretty dark. Private Thorson, Jungle Secrets. He has a quest? Perhaps it's a drop, a drop quest. Or perhaps he walks back to the camp and that's when I get the quest. I'm in disguise now as a cat, hoping I don't gain too much attention from the tigers and panthers. So, I don't know why I always go off-road here. I really like Stranglethorn, I think it looks pretty. I'm always a bit scared of the um, fish and crocodiles here. Wait, that's not supposed to happen. Am I like too high above the water that the game doesn't recognize that I'm supposed to be in the sw Oh no, never mind. I I mixed Rito up for a second. I thought that this travel form was automatically also aquatic form. That's how it works in retail, right? If you do the travel thing, it turns into the water thing if you're in the water automatically. Hello, Barnell, Stone Pot, Master um, Nessingwary. I never know if I say that correctly. Has a big hunt ahead of him, and I'm helping him prepare. Welcome to the jungle. 
Perhaps you're not aware of this, but that dwarf over there is the son of the one and only Hemet Nessingwary. Junior. Got it. Renowned war hero of the Alliance, master big game hunter. Like his father, he's not the only one welcoming strangers in into his camp, but you look like you've seen quite a bit of action in your day, Druid. Speak with him. I will. Hello. My father is off to more exotic locations in search of bigger prey. I heard that it's uh, one of the devs from, wow, I forgot his name, but he's a very well-known one, and he designed this quest, and it's supposed to, like, represent his ret retirement or something like don't remember exactly. Jolly nice to make your acquaintance, Aetha. <laughs> Haven't seen a druid around these parts for some time. Okay, prove your skill. I'll let you in on the big hunt. Raptor mastery. We have to kill 10 stranglethorn raptors, and then we gotta do the same for young stranglethorn tigers. And then we got those lovely missing pages quest that I'm honestly not gonna bother too much with. And here's the panther quest. I'm not gonna worry about that too much because your inventory is gonna be full all the time. It's actually super annoying. It's gonna be skinning heaven for I feel like everyone here is always fighting for these. As you can see, they're all dead. Oh, there's one here. That person is gonna yoink them. Oi. I did. I got Ferocious Bite. I finally have a finishing move that does damage. So instant damage, which I was kind of missing, so I'm glad I got it now. That we're gonna have two mobs attacking, but that's fine. This one's gonna die. In them getting a lot of heavy leather. Mm, no, not a lot. Medium leather, but I do get some heavy leather every now and then, finally. At least it sells a bit on the auction house. Oh, there's like there's a fat I tried catching it for recording this video, but then I lost him, and now he's back, and my cat just looks at him and doesn't care. She doesn't want to catch him. She just really doesn't care. She doesn't have a very strong instinct, I guess. <laughs> Too spoiled. So yeah, fun fact, if you hear some buzzing it's not in-game, it's some real-life ambient. Okay. This is going pretty well. It's not too competitive at the moment. really nice that I over leveled a little bit so I have a much easier time killing these now I remember as a kid going to this zone I I always went here straight after Duskwood and I thought you need to be I thought this zone is technically level 32 45 if, if I believe so I went there like right at level 30, 
sometimes even 29. But then, these quests are not for level 30. They say that you can go air at level 30, but it would be just a bit too tight, because these are all level 32, and you would have to like rest or eat or drink after every kill, which is quite annoying if you have to do that all the time, it takes a lot of time. So I finished up a few quests in Ashenville, and I had a few quests where I had to deliver something in Wetlands. I have not leveled in Wetlands with this character at all, but I went there to just turn in these easy quests and to pick up the flight path because it's quite a useful flight path to have. And then I immediately went back here. I have a few things to do in South Shore as well, but haven't done much there either. Rebuff. Okay. I'm already thinking where I'm gonna go next. Because there's also a few zones that are um, level. 35. So if you're in between 30 and 40, not quite there yet, you're a bit out of quests or they're too high level, then I could go to Dust Wallow Marsh or Swamp of Sorrows, for example. But, um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments which zones after like level 35 or after 40 you really like and I'll keep that in mind when deciding where I'm gonna level for like the next part of this series because I do want to try to be in a different zone for each video even though I can make multiple videos out of one zone um, there's also Feralas, which I think is very pretty. I do like to do, um, the most nostalgic zones for people, but I feel like when it gets to level 40 plus, the opinions are very divided. I think I'm done. Oh, I think I'm killing the wrong panthers. This is funny. And the wrong tigers. Oh well. Extra XP, I guess. How did I not realize? For some reason, I really thought this was the spot to go. So I need to be down where there was a bit of company. So yeah, I remember now we need to go near, like more towards the east. Here's where the panthers are. Probably a bit of around here, but wouldn't really bet on this place for the panthers. Oh well, I jumped ahead a little bit, but it's fine. I did skin quite a bit. My skinning is now 239. And the max is 300. Elf Paladin Mount is so cool. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna mount up, move a bit 
to the other spot. I know there's a So with this tiger, I'm at 9 out of 10, so I'm good with the tigers, just need one more, might be a bit up there, we're gonna try to fight for the panthers, we got the raptors too, over here, oh, didn't pay attention there. And for some reason, the raptor quest has always been a bit higher level. There's no, I don't think there's the same amount of follow up quests for the raptors. There's a lot of panthers here. How am I facing the wrong way? I was clearly in between. Oh well. The mage is gonna take them both. Probably. Hello, mage. Got my own panther here. skip that. It can be really tough to level up your professions, so definitely shouldn't skip that. I am gonna eat and drink. I have super low level food and drinks. I made, um, I think I made the food myself and just use it for the buff. The drinks are a bit sad though. It's finally getting a bit warmer here, which is nice because it felt like spring just didn't want to come. Temperatures were low, cold, windy, rainy, but that's a thing I just accept because I going to move over here and I'll start working on this quest and hope that some people will be gone when I move back to the panthers. My cat is next to me now. So these guys are a little higher level too, especially once you need to go inside of that cave. If they're getting like 34, 35, there might even be some 36. So yeah. Oh no, he just healed. Should've just, I should not do my damage over time because these guys just heal and they need to die quickly. Okay. Do I need anything in this house? Not per se, right? No. I miss. Oh, I got a page. Page 14. Oh, 
That was a nice crit. Oh, he's gonna heal, so it doesn't matter. I don't really have an interrupt. I do on my in my bear form, but not in cat form, which is quite annoying. I wonder if you get that at some point. I have no knowledge of druid spells and skills and what comes later on. Do that too. I just got real focused right there. I remember from last time, there's a bit of a shortage on the melee mobs here. You only get the medicine man, but you want the, um, the fighters. So, um, I gotta, like, focus on those. But if... You know, you have too many medicine men, you do need to kill them, because otherwise they'll never respawn. Oh no, he's- oh, it's so annoying when they heal. They're really annoying. This is a, a running situation. Someone stole the fighter over there, I think.
I have a hard time leaving me alone. That was so quick. I'm gonna eat some. I don't really have high level food. Level 15. It's not the greatest. Okay, I'm gonna try to take. I'm slowly learning. Almost there. Okay, now finally, the one I wanted to kill. I thought that this, um, This um, predatory strikes can also happen when I'm in bear form, but it, bar <laughs> it barely happens when I'm in bear form. Oh, that was such a good one. Okay, gotta wait for my mana. This is kind of awkward. Nature's Grasp is pretty good. It just does a solid, like, extra damage to them. Even if you don't want them to be, like, stuck, it still does nice damage. You should use it more often. I, I thought about it more as, like, a survival escaping thing, but... There's a few fighters around now. I should take advantage of it and try to kill as much as I can without pulling everything. still on its peak. Lots of people were playing and um, we just had to join groups to be able to do this and there were like multiple full groups running around so you had to be lucky for your group to um, to tag one. This situation again. A medicine man. Yuck. That is, of course, gonna heal. Okay, I'm out of mana again. I see a fighter over there. That would make 11 out of 15. There's one over there.
I'm gonna go back to the Panthers in a, in a second. I feel like there's always a chest here, but it's surrounded by so many mobs and that it will probably just contain food although I did get a blue item out of a chest not too long ago I'm in combat with what? but yeah, I got a blue cloak not good for me and it doesn't seem to sell on the auction it's always what I hope for, right? When you open a chest that it contains a blue item. Alright. Um, tin vein. Don't really need tin, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Because I can still level up my mining a tiny bit by mining tin. It's green, but there's a chance, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go um, back to the Panthers. There's one here. I'm just gonna skin the others later. Priority is tagging them. should at some point probably move to Booty Bay because at this level I might have a few quests there that I can already do okay while well, this guy is there alone and the rest of the group didn't respawn yet I gotta quickly kill him and I'll watch out for the medicine man We'll get a follow-up quest where we'll have to go inside of the cave. I remember correctly. And eventually you need to kill like some final dude. Okay. One more fighter. Oh, there's a few inside, but Probably a tank. I just need one more. I'm gonna rebuff and run around. Not the medicine man. Unfortunate respawn. If they're all gonna heal him. Oh, okay. That's like the most annoying thing from all of this.
now I should get out of here. I need some more panthers, but there's clearly more people here. I'm gonna heal. Well, I don't know. I won't have enough mana for that. I'll heal after this. And Almost done with these quests. Just missing one tiger, and I'm not doing the raptors yet because they're a bit further. And I know we'll get some troll quests here, so it's a bit better to do that all together. Um, the blood scalp ears I should move to Booty Bay and pick those up so that I can, you know, do as many quests in the same area as I can. Um, I'm gonna move over here to just get a tiger and hopefully a few panthers. There's a tiger. I'm walking backwards, just trying to figure out or find any panthers. Oh, okay. Apparently they're only in a very small part. I know some can be at the beginning. more after this one and then we're finished on oh, being healed by a random person that's kind thank you let's get those two last panthers okay i got this we got this it's kind of sad what we're doing here This should be easy. Just one left. Should be able to grab one in, in the zone over there. Now we're gonna turn everything in. It's gonna be satisfying to see the XP and hopefully I'll level up to level 35. I'm pretty close. I just need one, two, three, four, five, six more bars. Six, six, six bars. Might not be um, enough. Probably isn't. Okay, one more path there. Right there. Okay. Oh, right. Seven medium leather. Oh, no. I got a whole stack. I managed to get eight heavy leather. There's not that much, but there's a bit. Okay. I'm first... First, gonna go and um, turn in the quest here. See if there's any follow up that I get. Probably do. Well done. Now you've had the taste. Do you still want to throw your lot in with us? Sure. Fine. 
follow up, I need to kill 10 Curzon Commandos and Head Shrinkers. So those are in the cave, and I got another quest. Find the four tablets. Okay, that's with the trolls, I believe, yep. It's a orange quest, level 38. I do believe it's not that hard. Like, as a rogue, I could sneak, up, sneak around a bit. I can probably do the same in cat form. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Because it's gonna be annoying if I get seen all the time and I need to. Now, back to the mastery quests. Oh, I got two bars, basically one bar per quest, but I am uh, rested. Gonna pick up the follow up quests and then the next goal, which I won't be able to do in this session, but it's gonna be traveling to Booty Bay. And picking up some quests, and then continuing questing up here, and slowly you move your way down. That's how this zone works, in my opinion. You just start at the north, and you slowly move your way down in terms of difficulty. Um, okay. No, we got the tigers and the panthers that were up there where it started. Can't do any of those yet. I have three pages and one double. So yeah. That's it for today's gu today, guys. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope that you enjoyed another leveling in Classic WoW. Let me know what zones you would love to see when I get a bit higher with this with this character. And I'll definitely keep your pre preferences into account. Take them into account. Thank you so much for watching and I see you guys next time. Bye bye.